I just Googled it. I didn't even know there were 10 or 15 or 20 of them right around here, around me. And they look like homes that literally residential homes and stable income. That's the best part. See, if you have a single family home and you rent it out and the tenants leave, residents leave, then you have to re again fix up the house or whatever, and then you lease it again, right? But once you start the real estate, you buy that or have some other person buy the real estate and you operate the business, it's a residential assisted living is a real estate and also the operation. You want to chime in, brother? Yeah. Oh, Bo. Yeah, please go ahead. Because Bo has been, you know, with me in this whole drive and he's able to give me loans which we'll talk about that in a little bit. Go ahead, Bo. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I think, um, you know, because I work in the franchise space and I work in SBA, so I deal with a lot of like home care franchises and like I'm getting a bigger understanding of, you know, what's out there. And I really like residential assisted living because one is owning re owning residential property is fairly simple like you, you it's not overwhelming like buying a hundred unit building um and what i also like is i look at the strategy 